Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk all about both of these minis that I received from the Happy Planner from the new collaboration and collection with the artist Rong Rong. Now again, I'm so sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but this is how it is spelt right here. And I have two fun 12 month minis to share with you guys and I'm super excited. Make sure to check back a little bit later in the day and you guys will see my two classics that I got, both of those. So make sure to check back Make sure you're subscribed also because I will have another video going over all of the fun stickers that I received as well. So jumping into the minis here, I think I'm going to show you the monthly first and then we'll get into the horizontal. But something that I wanted to mention is that even in the classic, the dividers are still the same, but the inside is going to be different depending on the layout. So again, this is the monthly layout. I'm going to go ahead and flip open here. Really cute name page. This is the inside cover and then the inside back cover. And then this is cute. Girl gang, I'd rather be with my girl gang. Now look at all the ladies at the bottom. Cute. And then getting into the first month, this is July 2019 through June 2020. So it's a 12 month planner. And then the classic sizes are 18 month planner. So July 2019 through December of 2020. And then here's the currently section. I'm actually so excited about this because I think this would work better in my social media planner. If you guys have not seen my planner or this uh, flip through video of the Sprinkle Kindness planner, this is going to be my new social media planner. And I really didn't think that this would be perfect for a social media planner. So I wanted to cover it up with note paper anyway. But when I saw these, I was like, okay. I think I'm just going to tape this and Frank and plan a little bit, tape this to the currently section in here and then that will be my new currently section because the top priorities, I will definitely put all of my videos that I want to upload this month or that particular month. Over here I can use this for whatever and then there is a birthday section and an important date section but if you guys are familiar with the Happy Planner and their mini stickers, I have a ton of those horizontal stickers that fit into a horizontal planner that probably would cover up that completely so I could kind of just play around and, and make my own currently section at the same time as having or using the already like really cute section. So I think that's what I'm gonna do and I will get in to, um, look how cute, girls just wanna have sun. I also am gonna get in here in just a second into something else I'm gonna be using from this planner. I love the dividers, so I haven't decided if I'm gonna use those, but I really like the dividers in this planner so I'll probably keep those but really cute monthly I love the scallops and then this is the page that I am just obsessed with I think that it is just the cutest monthly planner that they've ever come out with I just love all the colors I love the little icons the little pictures it just makes me so happy I'm so excited about this planner so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and frank and plan this and incorporate it into my social media planner somehow. Not exactly sure how, but I will do it. I don't know about you guys, but I have kind of jumped on the Hobonichi bandwagon and I've been using it for like a couple weeks trying to see, you know, like what works best for me. I'm not going to be doing any, a video anytime soon. They're super fun to plan with if you haven't seen them before. They're really fun. But anyway... In the Hobonichi, they put all of their monthly, like this, they put all of their monthlies at the front of the planner, and I really like that. But I do also like the Happy Planner sections them off with the little tabs. So I was kind of thinking maybe I will do or get like a dashboard that says to do or something and section off every single month, like tape them together, you know, July and August all taped together, and then August and September. And then I will have my own little monthly section at the beginning of my social media planner. I'm hoping that made sense. I will definitely share that with you guys if I decide to do that. I'm like 90% sure that I'll do it. And if I, if I do it, I'll definitely share that with you guys. I just think it'd be cute to keep all of like the monthly goal pages together. So we'll see. So daily to do's you get, these are like your weekly right here. So you get those pages and then two pages of notes and all of the little icons and girls on the pages which are super cute and then here is August same thing over here just different colors really cute monthly love the little hats 
And then here is the monthly goals page for August. Again, I'm just loving all the detail in this. It just makes me so happy. I would love for them to do a seasonal one of these or a seasonal dashboard layout. I would love that. Daily to-dos. Notes pages. And then we're here in September. Pink and purple, so cute. October is so cute. Pumpkin spice everything. I love that it's green and then it does have like the pink in there too. So it'll look good if you want to do like a little Halloween spread. Really cute. Sorry, right, you guys. Yeah. And I'm obsessed. I feel like that was me. I'm going to insert a picture of me last Halloween with the same shirt, but it was gray. I loved that shirt. I still have it. I ordered it off of Amazon, so if you want to match her, I think we all should match her for Halloween this year. I think I might have to do that. I might have to go online and order that from Amazon, but in the orange color, not the gray. All right, November. Going back to that color scheme of July. Same color scheme as July, but you still get the different icons for each like season or holiday that's coming up. So daily to do's, a little purse, and then her shirt says give thanks. So cute. And then December, I love this. This girl is like holding a little, or holding a few presents actually. And there's like a bow and presents for Christmas. Keep your heels, head, and standards high. December. And look how cute. These two girls like laying on the ground next to the Christmas tree. I love that. And a little hot chocolate with some marshmallows. And then this girl getting ready for New Year's. I don't know if that's like a big ornament or what that is, but that's really cute. And then I think January might be one of my favorites because I just love this divider. It says we're going to party. And it is so cute. So getting ready for New Year's, I want this dress. So January, a lot of champagne on here. The girl drinking champagne. Then into February. There is like one of my favorite girls on here though. Love. Look how cute that is. I want like, but I want that like blown up and I want to frame it and put it in my craft room. I just think that's so cute. And she's cute too. I want that dress. All right, March. Make your own happy. Got like little pops of some seasonal things here. St. Patrick's Day, April, glitter is always an option, that's so cute, and then girl you're going places, She's got like a little camera. That's really cute. And then June I think might be my favorite. I also got this in the Happy Notes and I think that it is so cute. It just has tropical vibes. And look at all the little pretty flowers. And I want this maxi dress by the way. How cute is that? 
Okay, so June is the last month. It goes back into the green and the pink. And this one is so cute. I think this might be my favorite color scheme in this planner is that like mint green with the pink. And getting back to the last page here, which is the notes page, jot it down. And that is it. That is the monthly mini from this new collaboration or collection. And then I'll quickly share with this one, I'll quickly share this one with you guys. But the dividers are going to be the same. Little things have changed. This is the same. This is the same. And the monthly is the same as well. But when you get to the inside, obviously that's where it's changed. This is a horizontal planner. And I'll probably just show you guys like one month full and then I'll show you guys um, how every other month, like a one page from the other month. So August is the same. I think I skipped. Yes, I did. So there's so much detail on here. I could be flipping through this forever with you guys, but pretty much it goes back to like the same one. I actually think this next week is the same. Yeah. So they have like the same weekend. So some of it stays the same. Some of it's a little different now to September. These girls are cute. And then October. Every month has one week that is different and then all the other weeks in that month are gonna be the same layout or same like illustration. So I'll kind of show you again here is November. And then when you flip into November, we've got this picture or these pictures and then it gets into a quote. And then it's going to go back to those girls, goes back to the girls, and then you're at the new month. So this is December. I love that so much. So I'll show you the quote here and the little presents. And then January. February. I'm loving her. I just, I love, I love this. Like I think out of the entire planner here, this is my favorite month because I love the little hearts on there. And that girl is just so cute. So I might have to try to remember to use this layout in my mini if I don't give this to anybody. But I'm pretty sure I will give it to somebody. March. She's so cute too. April. May. Oops, sorry. Babes, support babes. Oh. And then last one is June. Sorry, I'm trying to flip through this one a little faster for you. This one's really cute too. Because again, I love that like mint green. So those were both the two minis that I got. And I'm really loving them. I really love them monthly. And I really want to see if there is a dashboard layout. I want to see what that one looks like. And if you guys like these new release kind of videos, flipping through things, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to let me know what you're most excited about from this new collaboration or collection. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up if you did and you want to see more videos like this in the future. And don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!